doing a review. I'm so excited. I haven't done a review in a while. Um, it's been like a week. Today we are chatting about this product right here. This is the L'Oreal Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. It is part of their Paradise collection. I'm excited for this. If you followed me for a while, you know I love a light coverage type of product. I love um, anything like tinted moisturizer, BB cream, light coverage foundation. You know, I love a full glam, but these are amazing for just everyday purposes, weekends, casual stuff, which is what I live for, especially since the pandemic. So we're going to put this to the test. I think today I'm going to use a brush. I've already primed. So let's just get right into this. So there's 12 shades to choose from. They have fair, light, medium, and deep. So I went with light too. So I felt like that would work okay. I'm really worried about it. You know, it's not like you have a lot to test at the drugstore nowadays with COVID, but this is what the shade is looking like. So I don't know. I'm a bit nervous about the undertone on this one. But we'll see. Hopefully it's sheer enough that we could really work it into the skin. Just touching it though on the back of my hand, it does feel really lightweight. So let's go ahead and just put... Okay, it doesn't look too bad on camera, but in person I was like, whoa. Um, let's put a little bit on one side of the face. You know, I, lo I love doing that, showing a side by side. Okay, let's start with that. And we're going to go in with a brush today. What do we think so far? That blended out do you see that that blended out so quickly so super lightweight okay just gonna go a little bit more in the cheek area where i have a little bit of redness nothing like too intense but just gonna add a little bit more coverage right there what do we think so nothing tinted moisturizer i don't know i'm really thinking I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my chin because i do have a blemish there um this is definitely giving a very lightweight light coverage vibe to the skin i think honestly if you're somebody who does like to put a little bit of makeup on to go to the gym for example this might be a great option because it really feels like nothing is there but just gives a nice clean complexion to the skin so that could be awesome. Color wise, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I think I'm gonna have to go down the neck a little bit, but it's not as bad as I originally was like looking at it. And I think because it is so sheer, um, it is able to really blend into the skin. That's just my phone violently vibrating, okay. I had mentioned earlier that it comes in 12 shades. It actually comes in 14 shades. So just thought I'd clear that up. Let's do the other side. This is, hmm not mad at it whatsoever i am curious to see how this would work with a beauty blender i think that the beauty blender would kind of shear it out a little bit too much um so i think that a brush would likely be the best bet to get the maximum coverage that you can get out of this product but i won't write it off until i try it so i'll let you know in the description box how it works with a beauty blender This is what it's looking like. Honestly, I really like it so far. It blends out within seconds. It takes no effort and no time whatsoever. So if you're a busy gal and in a rush, this might be a really great product to incorporate into your daily routine. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I think this would be a great option if you are somebody who does like to put a little bit of coverage on before going to the gym. I think that because it's so lightweight, it won't clog your pores either, which is super key. Um, and it takes seconds to put on. It is so, so quick to blend out. I think the fact that it is a shade, I would say a sh one shade too dark for me, but even the next shade up light, what was it? Light one, it was too light. So with these types of products, you know, there's 14 shades, which isn't bad for a tinted moisturizer because they are so sheer, they are able to be a little bit more versatile and shade match to yourself as you blend, but it's not perfect. And that's just the way she goes. But because it's so transparent and sheer, you are able to kind of work a little bit with the, with the product to get a better match. So that's something to note. If you are similar to my shade, this is probably going to be your best bet, um, which is light zero two, uh, just because light one is just, it's, there's a big difference. I'm going to jump off camera really quickly, finish the rest of my makeup. I feel like that demo was like two seconds. So 
I have no idea. I'm gonna jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, jump back on, and talk a little bit more in depth about this product and my first impressions of it. I am back and it's official, I'm obsessed. I know I've only had it on for about 30 minutes, but I am so far really, really impressed with this product. It is stunning. I like, I can't say anything bad that is happening right now on my face. Just from the ease of application of the actual tinted moisturizer product to the products that then went on top, such as my concealer, powders, blush, bronzer, all of that good stuff went on just so seamlessly and that just says a lot about a product. You could have a product that goes on and looks great and you think that you're headed in the right direction and then everything else that follows in your routine is like a total disaster. That means that it's something wrong with the product itself. It doesn't work with your skin. It's not seeping, like it's not sitting well on your face, etc. This product sits well. It is so, so nice. So as a little reminder, I have combo to oily skin in the summer, I wish. In the winter months, I do get a little bit of dry patches. So that's why I really love using super hydrated products in the winter months to kind of combat that. It's not anything too, too intense, but I do get like just dry patches around my cheeks specifically. So this product, nothing caught onto any of that. It really, really just glided on smoothly. I mean, you saw in the demo, hopefully, I gave a good visual representation of how well the product just moved around the face and just went right into the skin nicely. And I used a brush for that. So I will put in the description box, I'm gonna try it out again tomorrow with a beauty blender and let you know how it goes with that. But with a brush, I really, really give it two thumbs up. I'm loving the way it's sitting on the skin like my my skin just looks really healthy and just not over the top either so this is a great product for every day you're working from home or you're going into the office and you just want a nice clean complexion this is something that i highly highly recommend um especially if you're a busy lady like holy moly this went on speedy it was so speedy um, a very effortless product is the best way that I would describe it. I did mention it comes in 14 shades and it kind of has those categories of uh, fair, light, medium, and deep, which I think is nice to kind of help you a little bit navigate that shade range. I, again, went with light two and I think that is just the best match that I could get out of those 14 shades. Unfortunately, with tinted moisturizers, we see this all the time. There's not many to choose from, but 14 is actually not too bad compared to a lot of other. I've seen tinted moisturizers, there's four or five shades. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? 14 is a step in the right direction for sure. And then price-wise, it does go for $16.99 US, and then I think it was around 21 Canadian. I really do think it's worth that amount of money. L'Oreal just really comes out with strong products at the drugstore level. We're seeing prices go up every single year, and so 20 is starting to become a little bit more normal when we're talking about face products. I am hoping to see this one go on sale or at least a buy one, get one 50% off type of sale on Ulta. So I'll keep you posted on that front and I'll link the best deal I can find down below as usual. Last but not least, let's talk about the packaging. I don't have any complaints. I mean, you know, foundation wise, if it doesn't have a pump, I'm a little bit annoyed because it's messy. You can't get everything out. But the one exception is usually in BB creams and tinted moisturizers, so long as it is a squeezy tube. This here is a squeezy tube. It's actually a really chic package. So this is what the packaging does look like up close. I know I've showed it already, but I thought I'd show again. It does have that really pretty pale pink packaging that is pretty much across all of the Paradise collection. It also has a little fun add of water speckles, if you will, across the packaging to really emphasize the fact that it is a water infused product. Actually, water is the first ingredient listed, which is amazing. This is just gonna help, you know, give that glow, give that luminous coverage and keep you hydrated. All right, that is going to wrap up this review. I am so obsessed right now. I, I just love finding a great new drugstore product I, and I love sharing it with you all. It's really just something I love doing. So it, I'm obviously in a spectacular mood now. Um, I can't wait to play around some more with this product. I will of course let you know down below how it wears throughout the day. If there's anything dramatic, this will be completely refilmed, but this is just how I like to do my first impressions. So a wear test will be listed down below as well as how it plays out with the Beauty Blender. I will do that tomorrow and leave a little information update down below. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.